All right, so here is a room tour of room 2395 on the second level of the Carnival Horizon. It is a cove balcony. We're going to head inside. You have to have your card or a card in here. Otherwise, if this is out for too long, the lights will go off. Kind of like the room tour we did recently on the Mardi Gras. Some people say that this room is a bit bigger, but I think it just has Kimbra in it. Hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this this room is probably a tiny bit bigger than the Carnival Mardi Gras rooms. People had that say, check out our Carnival Mardi Gras Cove balcony for a good comparison to this. You're going to hear me reference it a lot because we were just on that ship recently. So um, it's a good way to kind of see the differences and similarities in Cove balconies. Let's get started, though, with uh, the bathroom. So the bathroom is kind of your standard bathroom. Let me just zoom out a little bit here so that you can see a little better. And in this bathroom is a shower. Now, one of the differences between this and the Mardi Gras is that this has the old non-glass shower curtain here, fabric shower curtain. This one does have, look at that, some swanky stuff going on there. It's got your normal shampoo and shower gel. You know, pretty standard. Here's another thing. People say that the Mardi Gras bathroom seemed cramped. Um, I don't know square footage or square inchage. I think you should you should probably measure it in square inchage, inchage, for a cruise ship bathroom. But um, I don't know if it's bigger or smaller. I can tell you that the toilet to me was I don't know it was laid out better for me um, on the Mardi Gras, but I, I'm not really I don't really have an issue with this either. So I'm not like that concerned. It's got a lot of storage here though for your toiletries a little fold out mirror look at that what it's pretty cool and uh it does have a little place to plug in your electric razor which i just bought and didn't bring and uh and it's got a pretty blue sink so there you go typical bathroom it does have some storage space which is also very similar to that of the carnival mardi gras with uh, a closet however the mardi gras has two shelves that fold down this one does have one in this section right here but just the one so the cl closets are very similar but a little bit different in there it does have this third panel which is where you'll find your safe um, your Hufflepuff backpack and some drawers I don't think there were drawers in the storage spaces on no, the but Mardi Gras there, there were drawers over here yes yeah. so drawers to keep your drawers in right there and the safe I don't know is probably I feel like it was a little bigger on the Mardi Gras, too. I didn't actually see the safe. I don't know. But, uh, but they're adequate for your safety needs, your safe needs. Uh, this one does have this nice little table right here and a pretty big couch. This is a bigger couch. You could sleep on this, and people do. So this is a little bit bigger, I feel like, than the one we were in the Mardi Gras. And I don't think we had a big old table like that. We just had the, um, the little fold-out hammock, hammock, hassock, thing this one just has a little stool there so that's a little bit different um, you've got a refrigerator here just a typical fridge mine came loaded with coke zero because I brought it uh, and then you know you got your shelves here two whopping USB ports so that's been improved on the Mardi Gras for sure. Uh, this cool light up mirror which there's a big round one bigger mirror on the Mardi Gras I you know, what I'm realizing as I'm doing this tour is uh, this balcony, this room might be a little bigger, but it's definitely more old school as far as some of the stuff. Like, I love the, the circle light and the circle light around the mirror on the Mardi Gras. So that's gold stars for the Mardi Gras on that one. It does have a drawer here with a hair dryer in it. Very important. I don't go anywhere without a hair dryer. So... Uh, it does have some lights here that you can turn on and off by the bed. A uh, little question out there. If we figure this out by the end of the cruise before we edit this video, we'll fill you in. But we have no idea how to turn this light on. So does anybody know how to turn that light on? Is it, it There is a bulb in there, so it is a light. Um, don't know. And also, what is that thing? I, I have no idea. We can't get it to work. Um, another thing that I really liked about Mardi Gras is the bathroom light didn't shut off all the way. It turned off to a really low level and made like for a nightlight, which was 
hip and cool and stuff. So uh, that one, this one doesn't do that. So you could go in, you know, like you get up in the middle of the night, you got to answer nature's call. Hello. Hello. Oh, nature. Hi, how are you doing? And, uh, and, and it's, you know, you turn the lights on and all of a sudden you're like, cause you've been in the dark. Well, you don't have to turn the lights on because there's like a dim light in the bathroom. It's very nice. A very, they should add that. They could add that, right? That that could be added to this. Anyway, um, you got a TV right there and a bed. This is, of course, could be made into two beds or one. Uh, we have it as one because we're not the Flintstones. Um, that little switch back there in the back will turn everything off for you. So that's kind of handy dandy when you're getting ready to go to bed. And then, of course, we have the curtain, which opens into the cove balcony. Vanna, go ahead and show the people what they won. And here you have oh, you have cove balcony. You have a huge change in light on the camera. So, um, look, we are in port still, but um, we are going to show you this again uh, when we're at sea. Now that we are out at sea, I'm going to show you the cove balcony balcony. After all, it is a balcony. So... Um, Okay, let me back up a little bit just so we can see the whole thing. You can see it's sort of similar if you watched our Mardi Gras one to that where it's got the cutout because it's got to have a little bit more security for waves since we're basically we're on deck two on this ship. Now, the difference is this one has the metal down here with the openings where the Mardi Gras was all glass. But I feel like this balcony, sorry about the echo by the way, is uh, bigger. Because we have, we have our two chairs here with the table, but we actually moved. You see the window is a little different too. Hi. Uh, we actually brought another chair over from my mom's balcony to hang out because, and this is important, we thought we'd be able to open the doors on the balcony. We can't really do that because these are big, heavy doors to protect this door. My mom's door is right on the other side. so. If we open that, we can't get in and out of the balcony. We can actually open it ourselves, but it's a big heavy door. We probably aren't supposed to do that and shouldn't do that. So anyway, um, but yeah, the cold balcony, it is absolutely beautiful. And again, very, very happy with it. I mean, look how close we are to the water. We did see some flying fish yesterday. Oh, that probably helps with the echo. I don't know how the wind sound is though, but, um, yeah, I'll just leave you with that. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Right now, we don't know what you saw because it hasn't happened for us yet in the timeline that we're in. But um, here's what's kind of cool and interesting is that um, we are next to the cabin that my mom is in. So we, you see we have a door here and that door leads to her cabin. So go ahead and open that up there, Kimbra. And... She's locked us out. Oh, no. She's. Let's see if you can. No, nope, it's open. We just had to. We just had to bust on in here. So if you are. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So if you are staying in a in adjoining rooms, uh, her cabin is basically the same as ours, only the opposite. And no, we don't know how to turn her light on either. Um, you can you can just have these adjoining doors. There's a door on each side for security, and for noise probably. So. Uh, but pretty cool. We can go back and forth. Now, normally on the balcony, you can open the doors between the balconies and have a double balcony. But on this one, because of the way the doors are and because it's a cove balcony for safety, they got these big metal doors. So we can open them, which is strange. I don't know if we're supposed to, but um, but I don't know how good of an idea that'll be at sea because they're big, heavy doors that look like they could really pinch your fingers or something if you're moving. So um so yeah, but the, because the balconies are bigger, as I'm sure we said in the future, which is in the past for you, uh, you could actually put three chairs, which you probably saw. Right now it has two. But anyway, so um, there's also a switch behind the door there, and uh, we don't know what that does either. Maybe it turns the light on at night. Maybe by the time we film the balcony scene, we'll know and we'll have told you already, and this will sound really stupid. But if it doesn't, and anybody knows what that switch is for, please let us know in the comments below and like i said definitely check out our cove balcony room tour of the carnival mardi gras and compare and contrast there are advantages and disadvantages on both ships well we figured out what this is for and it makes sense this is like an emergency light that the crew can use if they need to we 
we've never seen it. Hopefully we never will. Uh, this, look, we feel kind of stupid about this one. Th there's a switch right there. We fell for it. We missed it. And then finally, um, the, the other switch in here is a light switch for the balcony. Now, I don't remember a balcony light switch in the Mardi Gras. Do you? I no, looked for the, one. The Mardi Gras didn't have a light on the balcony. Ah, see, so when I saw that, I was like, balconies don't have lights. But I thought on the Mardi Gras, I was like, where's the light? So, yeah, yeah so this one does have a light. And I'll throw in the footage here if, if it came through. But I tried to, I remember that. We didn't film that last night at like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> and there it is. If it was there, if it's there, if, if not, then then just, just have to take my word for it. Well, that's it. That's the Cove Balcony on the Carnival Horizon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to Fantastic Studios. Don't forget to check out our podcast, Fantastic Cruising. Thank you for watching and uh, have a fantastic day. Bye.